Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is John Courtney. Where are you from? I live in a village called Mosley, which is near Manchester. Oh, OK. Have you brought anyone with you? I've got my wife and two boys, I hear. Woo! Brilliant. How long have you played the piano? Uh, since I was about five, I guess. And is that how you make a living? Yeah. So is this the biggest venue you've performed in? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the Palladium is, is like the holy grail to me. I used to watch the shows with my dad, and this is the home of variety. Ah. Oh. Overwhelming. It's amazing. Oh, it's a for you. Good luck, John. Thank you. This is bonkers. There was a man who had a dream That Simon Cowell and his team Would watch him play piano and try to slay them on the stage of the Palladium And in the time that one song took David would write another book <laughs> Alicia would smile at him Amanda would be kind to him Simon's teeth would be blinding him <laughs> If he was smiling But nothing now could ever spoil The dream he dreamed like Susan Boyle I like this already! Yes, John! Let's see if we're, we haven't been in it yet. Fact is, he never thought he'd ever get to be in front of millions of people doing his thing on TV. 30 years of playing in piano bars and pubs, dodging glasses when they're thrown, being thrown out of clubs. When your children ask, Daddy, when you're coming home, this game is not the same when you're just Daddy on the phone. So he sits at the piano and he tries to get prepared. Thinking he'll write it in third person so he doesn't feel as scared To sing about himself to a bunch of strangers in the dark But then Britain has got talent and he wants to make his mark Paul Potts won the first year and said it was insane The second year George Sampson won singing in the rain Lost Voice Guys season 12 and last year Colin Thackeray So why not me? Yeah, yeah, why not you? Why not you? That's what he said. His youngest boy, one night in bed. Dad, why not you? Go and show them what you do. And even though you'll be a wreck, at least you'll meet Anton Dead. Ah, we get the song. We're in it. We're in it. Yeah. And he thinks on stage, at this stage in his life, with an expensive mortgage and a pensive wife. His youngest son, Alfie, says, what's it all about? If he had any hair left, he'd pull it out. His teenage son said, <laughs> His dad taught him to play piano, but he didn't live to see his son at the famous theater performing on TV. If he didn't see it through, imagine how sad the look on the faces of both his lads Who always tell him You're the greatest showman dad <laughs> And they'll see me on BGT No more third person, just daddy This is me a bit, I don't know why. I just saw a man who kind of made all his dreams come true. It really was, yeah. David. It was just so winning, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, my goodness me, it made the whole audience, and I'm sure everyone watching at home, just fall in love with it. 
love him. It had everything, and at the end, he had us moved to tears. This show is perfect for you, and now I want to see you go as far as you can in this competition. Wow. Well done. Uh, John, it was just a wonderful audition. You are somebody who's worked for years, needs a break. You'll get a huge reaction of this, I promise you. And we all want you to do well. So I would love to be the, the first to say yeah. yes. Yeah. I can't believe you did that. You deserve it. You deserve it. Here's the other son. Here he comes. Hello, good evening. Hi. Um, it's amazing to be here, obviously. Um, so for my audition, I, I sung a song about my, my kids and about being a dad. And tonight, I want to take you back a bit further to when I was a kid and about my mum and dad. Uh, I've written a song called When I Was a Boy. Uh, we have a photo of when I was a boy. This is me when I was about three. I know, I'm the one on the right. But I did meet a very rich lady after my audition at the London Palladium, and she'd spent a lot of money to try and look like the one on the left. <laughs> Here we are again for some more BGT. Never dreamed the semis would include me. How could this be real? It must be a hoax. I'm just a piano man with a bunch of bad dad jokes. My hamster died. He fell asleep at the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a virtual audience for the semi and you at home watching on TV. We were one judge down, so thanks, Ashley. Cycling for Simon is unhealthy. <laughs> Electrically, apparently. As for me, I was outside Tesco two meters apart. Hand sanitizer, gloves and a mask. So I was unrecognizable for people to ask. Were you on BGT? It's a pain in the... Ask me why I do this, then they understood. Inspiration from Chaplin to Victoria Wood. As a child, I saw variety shows on the screen, wanting to be Billy Connolly. Elton or Queen. My hair no longer grows, just out my ears and out my nose. <laughs> my forehead now has met my neck, but no forehead jokes in front of Anton Deck. <laughs> and then go together like Robin and Batman, like Phil and Holly, like Simon and Fake Tan. But the greatest double act the world ever had was Carolyn and Ivan. That's my mum and dad. They were on stage long before I was born. As a child, I would sit there just shouting for more. They'd take me backstage, naked dancers I'd see. I decided show business was the business for me. For 45 years, they were barely apart. But there wasn't a day when I didn't hear them laugh. Like when Dad dropped a glass of chocolate milk in the bath. When we saw the mess, he said, I only meant to fart. <laughs> Dad was still laughing till his final bow. And the memories of him make us laugh even now. Mom said, never give up. And she knows I love her. But even she never dreamed I'd get a golden buzzer. My children have watched me from their youngest age. 
bring music and laughter from up on the stage. Just like I watched my mum and her dreams come true now. She gets to be on TV virtually. Mum, take a bow. Your family may be crazy, they may drive you round the bend, your kids may drive you insane, it's a never-ending spend. But my mum always told me, be proud of who you are, so now I tell my children, always reach for the stars. Why did you make us do this? We don't like it. <laughs> it's horrible, and especially when all these three were so incredibly talented. Comparing them is impossible. Yeah. But the act that I thought just really got me in every single way possible tonight was John. One vote for John Courtney. Alicia, it is tough, but we need a name. Who would you like to see in the final? Uh, you know, like David said, you know, you can't compare these acts because you all stand out in your own way. And I think all three of these acts deserve to be in the final. That's what makes this so tough. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, OK, I'm going to go with my heart. Um, the act that I would like to see in the final is Belinda. <laughs> One vote for John, one vote for Belinda. Ashley, we come to you. Who would you like to see in the final? Oh, this, this is a hard one. Um, I know this is a semi-final, but in terms of quality, you could be the final three. Like, yeah. it was that good. You were all that good. Um, but we do have to pick. And I think the thing that is edging it for me right now is originality. The act that feels more original to me. Oh. That act is John. Two votes for John, one for Belinda. Amanda, we turn to you. Big vote from you, this. Yeah, it's it's horrendous. Um, and, I mean, everybody said it. You are all three amazingly talented people, very different skill sets. But I am, I'm going to go with my heart and the person that literally made me cry my eyes out this evening, and that is John. Congratulations, John! You're in the final! Well, how does that sound, John? Uh, only, I'm only on this because I want to be at the Palladium. And, and <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't really meant to get this far. <laughs> Amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well done. done. And can we just say, Jasper and Belinda, don't worry about it because you're still in the running Absolutely. for a place in the final because you both take your place in the public vote. We wish you the very best of luck with that. Let's hear it one more time. For well, Belinda Davids and Jasper Cherry. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the final. Yes. Yeah, and I've got to write something else. Yes. <laughs> yes, you, you do. do. <laughs> OK, all right, yeah. It's, it's, it's probably going to be... I'm thinking of something along the lines of, like, a love song to my favourite television duo, Phil and Holly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe something like that, I don't know. Uh, amazing. Listen, anything you want to say to the judges for putting you through? Um, I, I, it's, it's so f sounds so flippant to say that I wasn't expecting it, but for so many reasons I wasn't expecting it. Um, the stuff you said at the end of my song uh, blew me away. I, I had to try and hold it together because I didn't want to look, look like an idiot. Um, but amazing, thank you so much. Um, I'll, I'll try and up the game for the finals. Oh, congratulations, yeah. <laughs> John. We're <laughs> dead proud of you. We'll proud see you in the final. Thanks. Let's hear it for John Courtney, everybody! <laughs> Moments in your life don't get much bigger than this It's a milestone like a wedding or a teenager's first kiss But to be here in the final is feeling slightly odd It's champagne and caviar, I'm used to Vimto and battered cod 
And though this moment overwhelms me, the question must be asked, do we sometimes miss the small things as life goes by so fast? Mosquitoes are only tiny, but they can drive you mad, so never underestimate small things that make you glad. Simon makes David happy, and he'll be there when he calls. He burst into his dressing room and realized it's just small things. <laughs> yeah. The last shoes in the sale being the right size for you. A baby's expression when they're having a poo. Looking in the junk drawer and finding a pen. Fitting a size eight when you were usually a ten. My, my wife told me that. Hi. <laughs> small things that make you happy. Small things that make you laugh. Bubbles make kids giggle when they're trumping in the bar. Art farks are happy when it's alphabetical. Dogs will always wag their tails if they can lick their ball games. Make kids happy when they're playing, having fun. I wasn't happy when the schools closed and I had to teach my sons. I was happy when Boris told me I could finally hug my mum. But I was happiest in April, finding Lou Roll for my bum. Ants and Deck are happy when they take home an award. So they've been pretty happy since 1994. <laughs> I know your first award was in 1995, but that didn't rhyme. <laughs> OK. OK. Cool, cool. Cool. You got to seize the moment. You just live once, I hear you say. But that's not true. You die once, but you must live every day. Smile as if they've told you there's no need to quarantine. When you laugh in denim, is small things like being with our friends little things like when the queen said we'll meet again on thursdays on our doorsteps with pride inside our chests taking just a moment to clap the nhs and it won't be long before these masks are gone we'll be living life again to the maximum and we'll remember people like Sir Captain Tom And in years, our kids will be reminiscing Not about the big stuff that they've been missing But that every day, they got to play with Dad and Mum And we'll remember that we were strong When McDonald's was closed for so very long And Britain's talent will be that we all carry on To be here now, to get this far For you to make me feel like a star For gratitude, I don't know where to start When Alfie asked me, what's it all about? I thought I knew, but I had my doubts But the answer is so simple and so smart You'll realize that you thought were small can take the biggest places in your heart and if you're lucky your family plays the biggest part so we're left with John Courtney Steve Royal and sign along with us the public have chosen you as their top three, but only one of you can be our winner. The third place act in Britain's Got Talent 2020 is... Steve Royal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Congratulations, Steve. Third place this year. Oh. You should be very proud. Anything you want to say to everybody who voted for you at home? Look, just thank you to everyone and thanks for all the positivity. If you were thinking of any posting anything on social media that's negative about any of the people here tonight, we all come here for one reason, that's to entertain. Well we don't said. come here to offend. Well said, we don't Steve. come here to upset people. And I just thank you all for the opportunity. And thank you. Well, thanks, thank you, guys. Thank you. Steve, the, and listen, the very best of luck from us here at Britain's Got Talent. You're not going to need it. Let's hear it for him one more time. Steve Royal! Thank you. Well, here we are. After thousands of auditions, five amazing semi-finals, and a year unlike any other, we are now left with just two acts. John Courtney, sign along with us. One of you is about to win a quarter of a million pounds and a spot on the bill at the Royal Variety Performance. The winner of Britain's Got Talent 2020 is... John Courtney! Oh, don't make me speak. <laughs> uh, look at me. Look, we'll come back to you in a moment. Take a minute. Take, take a, a moment. Okay. Take well, a listen. moment. Jade, Christian, con congratulations and commiserations. Oh Second place this year. Oh. Runners up on Britain's Got Talent. But what an achievement. You must be so proud. So, so proud of every single one of the group. I'm shaking. I can't believe it. Well done. And oh, well, so deserved. Very kind of Wow. You. Jade, you're an incredible young lady. What you've done is amazing with this group of people. We salute you and thank you for coming to be with us thank at Britain's you. Got Talent 2020. Well done, Christian. Thank you Good so kisses much. Good kisses to you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the first ever Golden Buzzer winner of Britain's Got Talent, <laughs> John Cornyn! And he's our Golden Buzzer! Yes! Oh, I want to hug you so much. John, how'd you feel? How'd you feel? Uh, um, I just... Uh, whew. Uh, I, I haven't... I've tried not to think about it. Because uh, um, I'm really bad at hiding disappointment. Uh, yeah. Um, and so I've really... A, a couple of mornings I've woken up. And, and actually this morning, for the first time, this sounds really dramatic, but I woke up... Sometimes I have an idea for a song, yep. and I literally woke up with an idea for a song for the Raw Variety performance. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I woke up and went, oh my, and I, I, so I wrote it down, and I, I tried not to think of that as being a sign, because as I say, it would have been too much, too much pressure. Um, just amazing. I, Listen, I, I can't well, actually believe that I'm still Well there. done. Congratulations. You deserve a real winner there, uh, judges. Isn't that right? Yes, Absolutely well fantastic. Well done, John. So, well anything well you'd like to say to the people who voted for you and the judges? Very quickly. Very quickly, okay, John. Okay, um, listen, thank you. You've ch you don't know how much this means. It's changed my life, my family's life. Um, my mum, I can't imagine how you're coping right now. I hope you're still alive. Um, <laughs> John, 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 that's all the time we've got. That's all the time we've got. John Cornish, you're a winner, ladies and gentlemen.